Hi guys, welcome to the Cosmos Hub. The Cosmos Hub, known as the Internet of Blockchains. But I like to call it the blockchain of airdrops. Why? Because if you were staking four particular tokens on the Cosmos last year, you could have earned up to $44,000 in airdrops. And coming up this year, there's another 150 plus tokens to be arriving on the Cosmos Hub. Uh, most of these will have to provide airdrops because for projects to get noticed and supported by the community, because all these projects are community driven, the community won't be interested unless they're providing an airdrop. That's how it's got now, it's got that bad, that unless you provide an airdrop, you're not gonna get anywhere. So, it's amazing really that the community have got control over new projects that come to the, to the, to the blockchain, to the Cosmos Hub. So, what's the, uh, the Cosmos Hub all about? Well, all these, different services and dApps, they're all interoperable with each other because they're all built using the, uh, the Cosmos Software Development Kit or the Cosmos SDK. So they're all interoperable with each other. Uh, there's a new one coming on soon called Evmos and that will work be on the outside somewhere and what it'll be doing is it will enable the Cosmos Hub to be interoperable with Ethereum. So that is going to be massive. It's going to be a massive DEX that will have Cosmos users and Ethereum users. And it will uh, show Ethereum users how fantastic this ecosystem is and how much money you can earn on it by just participating in staking is unreal. So how do we get on this golden gravy train? Because that's what it is, really. Well, you basically need to hold, well not hold, stake four tokens and you'll get the majority of airdrops on the Cosmos Hub. The first token obviously is the the blockchain token itself, Cosmos token, Atom. You'll need to buy about 10 Atom to qualify for most of the airdrops. The second token you're gonna need to buy is Osmosis. Um, you're, gonna, you're gonna want about 25, 30 Osmosis. They're around ten dollars each. Why Osmosis is because Osmosis is it's a huge dex. It's where most of the finance takes place, most of the staking, all the pools. This is the biggest one. This is the daddy, and they're currently trading at just under ten dollars. Uh, the more you get, the merrier. Uh, next coin you need to buy is called Juno. Now Juno is its own separate blockchain and this is built using the Cosmos SDK. So it's interoperable with the whole ecosystem even though it's its own blockchain. And uh, you need around, well, I've, I've got about 11 and a half do you know I'd like to have 20 it's up to you none of this is financial advice but you need to get some Juno basically 10 and the fourth coin that you need to get is not on the not on the diagram and it's called secret and the ticker is SCRT and that's trading around four and a half dollars at the moment you would 
probably be wise to get about 25 secrets and then these four coins will cover you for the majority of the airdrops come in forevermore really unless things change drastically so how do we participate in the ecosystem well first of all you're gonna need a wallet the wallet's called the Kepler wallet I've already done a video on how to install the Kepler wallet which runs in your browser just the same as MetaMask but a Kepler wallet is much more than just a wallet it's a portal to the Cosmos ecosystem so once you've watched the video on how to install the Kepler wallet and set up your passphrase and the rest of your secure security you're gonna need to go to an exchange to buy some atom and send the atom to the wallet now the exchanges that I'd recommend because they're built on the cosmos are crypto.com and Binance I think uh, you shouldn't have any trouble uh, buying Atom on these and sending them to your Kepler wallet make sure you're using the Cosmos blockchain to send your Atom to your wallet on and once you've done that you're good to go and next we're going to go to the Osmosis zone which is the main place to hang out on the Cosmos here we are on the Osmosis zone go to osmosis dot zone and you come here and uh, nice bit of artwork here looks cool liquid in the old flask enter the lab here we are on osmosis I'm going to connect my wallet it's a Kepler wallet as you can see that connected straight away uh, I only have 0.4 atom in the wallet at the moment this is because it's all being staked anyway what we need to go on assets As you can see, I've got so many assets up here. At the moment, your, your Atom can't interact with Osmosis because it's in your wallet, it's in your Kepler wallet. Now, you need to deposit your Atom on, on the Osmosis website or blockchain or whatever it is. So you click deposit. Deposit IBC into blockchain. Mm, something or other. Available balance. So I'm just going to transfer 0 0.1 for the sake of the video. 0 0.1 one deposit I think the Kepler wallet should open and ask me to confirm it so here it is it's not a Kepler wallet that's slow it's my computer I need to clean it I haven't cleaned it for a for a week here we go eight cents but it would have been eight cents if it had been a thousand dollars worth transaction broadcasting waiting to be included in the block shouldn't take too long transaction successful okay so now we've deposited a little bit on the cosmos uh, we can stake it stake
as you can see inside the Kepler wallet is more like a TARDIS it's massive it just goes on as big as you can make it so Cosmos Club staking do not stake with Binance or Kraken or any of these exchanges you won't get any airdrops with them I'm already staked with craft airdrop bonus 10 atom I did I was originally staking with these by mistake because I was a green on with the uh, old cosmos and anyway it's all staked with craft air boss airdrop bonus lavender 5 node uh, basically uh, you're gonna get an airdrop just for staking atom but you get I think it's a 20% bonus if you stake or delegate to the craft air airdrop bonus so how do you delegate you click on manage you click on delegate always leave something in your uh, wallet so I'm only going to de delegate oh, oh what a little bit let's see oh and let's give it the five <laughs> okay we're gonna delegate that to uh, the craft obviously you'd want to delegate more than this I've got 10 atom delegated to it so let's wait just wait sorry about my uh, computer being slow okay 16 cents approve that shouldn't take too long then after that go to osmosis go to stake now I've got 101 osmosis 100 is a good a good amount to have uh, should you re reward you with uh, some decent free airdrop money binary holdings and friends validator I'm, uh, I've delegated to these two to get me the diffusion finance airdrop which will be in Evmos so I'm looking forward to some Evmos from uh, Delegating to binary holdings and friends from uh, Diffusion Finance. That was another airdrop that gets you Evmos. Uh, it's gone out of my head for the moment. But you needed to stake with uh, Pro Validator, Imperator, or Swiss Staking. And uh, this, this also gets you Evmos. Now Evmos is going to be huge, it's going to be highly valuable. Not financial advice, but in my opinion it is. So you do the same. Uh, you go to the Osmosis Zone. Uh, you go to Trade. However, however many Atom you've got. Uh, I want to leave some Atom. In my wallet because you do need it for transactions uh, you put your the amount of atom you want to trade for osmosis in here you click swap you swap it then you need to go back to assets and then you need to go to osmo and you need to uh, maybe because we're on osmo you don't actually need to deposit it because you swapped it it'll just show up here in your balance as yeah because you've already deposited your, your atom so it's in the uh, osmosis uh, decks or whatever it is and uh, you've just swapped it for osmosis so it's already there in your balance so then you need to go and stake your osmo then so you go through the same process 
you come back here, you click stake, osmosis, uh, you get a list of validators, uh, you keep your ear to the ground to find out which validators are offering uh, airdrops. Normally, most of the airdrops you can just stake to any validator. Some airdrops you may have to stake to a validator, any validator outside the top 100. Other and more recently, uh, airdrops. You have to stake to specific validators. A lot of the community are moaning about this, saying that it's not fair to the other validators. But at the end of the day, if they're giving the coins away, they can do what they want. Uh, maybe it isn't fair to the other validators. But it is what it is. Next, you want to scroll down. If you've got any atom left, <laughs> make sure you keep some for Juno. Stake Juno. And your uh, Juno staking thing will come up here. Here we are on Juno. And I've got 11.5 Juno. Now I'm staked it. I've delegated it to this Cleomedes simply because this is a specific airdrop for the Cleomedes delegators on Juno. So if you buy Juno, it's not too late to get into this Cleomedes airdrop. I don't know if it's going to be a big airdrop or a valuable airdrop or just a mediocre airdrop. But they all add up, they're all profit at the end of the day. So you do the same thing, you click on manage and you delegate your Juno to Cleomedes or whoever you might find on Twitter. It's just full of Cosmos airdrops. After you've done that, you need to go to Secret Network. You click on Secret Network, click on stake. I haven't actually got any uh, secret, so yeah. Apparently there's a, a specific uh, node on here that you need to delegate to for a an upcoming airdrop. Uh, I will check and do a, do a video on it and I'll show you all the way through how to do the wallet, load your money with Atom, load it up with Atom, and uh, come on here, I'll go through how to buy secrets, and I'll find out which delegator you need to delegate to, and uh, show you within the next couple of days. Anyway, that's basically uh, what you need to know. That the osmosis zone is the, uh, well, it's like the uh, exchange, if you like, of the Cosmos ecosystem at the moment. And uh, why Juno is uh, so highly thought of is because it's its own blockchain and it allows other dApps and services to be built on top of it. So it's a bit of everything. It's uh, it's going to be used a lot. But the, the Juno token has gone from $8 a couple of months ago to it went over $40 the other day. At the moment, Osmosis hasn't gone up by the same magnitude. So osmosis in itself being at under ten dollars is a snip to buy, and um, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinion, the osmosis token could easily go to over a hundred dollars before the end of the year. It's not financial advice. I absolutely love the cosmos, and I'll be doing lots more videos on this, and I hope you watch them. Anyway, that's all for today. Bit different, I know, 
makes a change from erratic matic. See you soon. Bye.